A couple of weeks ago, I made a short on my YouTube channel saying that however many views plus likes plus subscribers, it was a bunch of math. You can watch the short in the description if you're interested. I said I would go however many light years as views I got. Anyway, that short blew up and we ended up going really far. Um, I'm sure you all know about the short that I made a week ago. Basically, um, every view I'll go a light year, every like I'll go five light years, and every subscribe I'll go 25. And I also put in the comments, every comment I will go 10 more. So I have not calculated yet how far we're gonna have to go. Uh, so we're gonna have to do that. Um, let's see, okay. So I have the analytics pulled up here. All right, so we need to calculate how far we're going first. So we go to the analytics, we'll see. This short did really good for me, probably because I told everyone to like it. If you see this gray bar down here is my average like short views. So you can see it's a lot higher, which is good. That means we're gonna go pretty far today. Okay, so we got 272,000. What's the, what's the actual view count? 440, so 272, 440 plus, and then we're gonna do for every like, how many likes did it get? 40,000 likes, so we'll go 40,000 times, what did I say, five for every one of those, also plus every subscriber, 12.6k, we'll go the exact number, why not, oh, it just goes, oh, I guess it's exactly at 12.6, 12.6k times 25, okay, and then also, we're, we're already hit almost a million light years, um, every comment, I will go 10 more. So 2.9K comments. We'll just round it up to 3,000 because that's easier. 3,000 times 10. All right. So the total distance we got to travel is 817,440 light years. That's pretty far. So that's definitely out of the Milky Way. The Milky Way is only 100,000 light years across. Um, hopefully that's in a galaxy. Uh, hopefully we can find a galaxy about that far away. Let's pull up Space Engine now. Okay, here is Earth. So what we're looking at is this distance thing right here. You should be able to see it. I didn't, right here, this distance will tell us how far away we are from Earth. So it'll go to light years eventually. Right now it's still in kilometers. So now we're in AU. So one AU is the distance between Earth and the sun. So right now you can barely see Earth still. I'm zooming in a lot. This is the distance between Earth and the sun. Uh, but we're going to be going a lot farther. This is one light year exactly away from Earth. And if I'm on max zoom, that's max zoom. So we're to the point where max zoom isn't enough anymore. You can still see the sun, but we're going to need to go way farther. Let's switch the view so we can actually start to see some stuff. Uh, 10 light years, 20, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100 light years now. 200. Okay, we're going to start. We're going to need to speed this up because we need to go 817,000 light years. Okay, uh, so now it switched to 1,000 light years. So this is 30,000 light years. Okay, so this is 100,000 light years. And you can see we are we are leaving the Milky Way now. So there's the Milky Way. You can see we're completely outside of it now at 335,000 light years. So we're almost halfway there, 400,000, 500,000. So we need to find a galaxy now that's around 817,000 light years away. So we need to basically look at the closest galaxies and see how far these are. Because if we just go 800,000 light years away, we're gonna be in empty space. So let's go in this galaxy and see how far this one is. So if we go in this galaxy and then we search Earth again, it'll tell us our distance. This one is 261,000 light years away. So we can go, so we need to go even further than that. Okay, this one maybe? Okay, let's see here. Oh, perfect. Okay, this one's uh, a little bit less than our total distance, but it's pretty close. It's 815,000 light years away from Earth. So this is going to be our galaxy of choice. We could try to get as close as possible to our thing. So we're basically going to just go as close as, like, as close to our distance as we can, which is going to be pretty much the edge of this galaxy. So collectively, your guys' views, likes, and subscribes brought us to this galaxy, which is the closest distance we can get uh, without being in empty space. <laughs> All right, uh, so we're, now we're gonna look in this galaxy and see what we can find. Uh, we will look for Earth-like planets and probably black holes and other cool stars to, just to see what there is. Um, you can see I'm just clicking through the stars right now. Like this kind of looks cool. 
So here's our first planet in this new galaxy. You guys brought me to this planet. There's no way I would have found this planet without looking for it from you guys, if that makes any sense at all. All right, um, if you guys want a certain kind of planet found in this galaxy, put it in chat and I'll try to find, because we can, we can do searches too. Oh, look at these like binary planets. Oh, wow. Is this like a moon or another planet? It says planet. So these two are binary, even though this looks more like a moon. It's because they're more similar in size than moon and planet relationships usually are. But check that out, like the detail on it. Oh, here's a neutron star. Someone suggested we find a neutron star. Here is a neutron star. I just found it by accident. Didn't even have to search for it. There's a lava planet here too that I saw someone wanted. Here is that neutron star. You can see the gravity is so strong on it that it's uh, distorting reality, like distorting the light around it, like how black holes do it. And it's got this kind of lava planet in the system too. Pretty cool. Okay, so this has subglacial life. After this, we'll look for Earth-like planets too. So this object has life, but it's the worst kind of life, I would say, subglacial, because the planet doesn't even look like it would have life. It's a moon, it's not even a planet. Basically, it means that there's glaciers, uh, like giant, like there's a lot of ice on it, and the, I er, the ice has small, like bacterial life. Can you find a neutron star with a ray and spinning? Oh, like the, I know what you're talking about. Uh, maybe if they'll show up, neutron star. Okay, let's see. Searching for neutron stars. Here's a neutron star. Do I have my uh, accretion disks on? That one doesn't. Like the, like the beams coming out of the top and the bottom. I don't know if it'll show up. This one's a bigger neutron star, it looks like. This one's not super bright, because usually they're like blindingly bright. Here, we'll try one more. What are these like dark planets? Are these just planets in darkness because they're so far away? Whoa, that is pitch black. Cool. Can you find a planet that will have multicellular life? We, we can do that. Let's search for Earth-like planets in this galaxy. Um, so this is like our galaxy because you guys made me fly here. I'm pretty sure this is a real galaxy because it's not even that far from the Milky Way. Yeah, it's Leo 1. So this is a real galaxy. So let's search for Earth-like planets. And the way we do that is by going in here um, and we want to set our object parameters to a temperate marine Terra because that's the same as Earth. And then we also want multicellular life. And then we search and we don't always find it, but it looks like we did pick up one. Here is the one Earth-like planet within 400 light years of that position that has very, very similar properties to Earth. And you can see, yeah, it's got water, it's got land. Uh, let's go closer and land on it and see what we can find here. So it's got like tropical regions and it looks like the atmosphere is very like a bluish green color. And it does look like there's some plant life because that's kind of like grass. It's got, what's in this like, is this like deserty or what? Yeah, it looks like it. So there's desert areas and grassy areas, which is like how earth is. So that's cool. Let's see, this isn't tidally locked, right? Oh, it is. Okay, so that's not good for life. So that means that the same side of the planet always faces its star. So one side will always be day and one side will always be night, which is not good for life at all. Life likes day and night cycles. So the best spot for life is gonna be right in this in-between area um, between the day and the night where you're kind of in like permanent sunset. And look at that sunset. That is so pretty with the, the pink on it. That's really cool. Let's look in the other section of the galaxy and see if there's an Earth-like planet over there. Cause there was only one in this section. So let's go like down in this section and see. It did find one. This is, is this the same one? No, I think it's a different one. This has also a gas giant with life. Interesting. Okay, this one doesn't look as nice as our other one, but actually it's kind of got like pink skies. Um, if it has no atmosphere, I mean, it's kind of gross looking. So this one's got really pink sky. It looks like a super thick sky too. It's kind of like foggy. Interesting looking and it does have life. It is tidally locked too, so that's not good for life. Oh yeah, we're gonna find a super massive black hole. Uh, there's probably one at the center of this galaxy because most galaxies have one in the center. So I think I should be able to get one. I think this is it right here. There we go, okay, yeah. So this is the central black hole of this galaxy and it does have an accretion disk. There we go, there's your super massive black hole. Okay, what else do you guys wanna see in this galaxy we found? Find a planet at the edge of that galaxy. We can definitely do that. Thank you for that donation. Uh, so let's go to the very edge and see what planets are out there. Okay, very edge is going to be like this star here. And look at this planet. This is like pink. Oh, it looks more blue. I guess maybe the back looks pink. It looks kind of pink up there. Here's a planet at the very edge of this galaxy. Because this star is kind of like outside of the galaxy. And this 
Dwarf moon. Whoa. Okay, the texture on this is kind of weird. I don't think I've seen objects, especially moon spawn like this. They're usually a lot more cratered. I don't think I've seen a lot of dwarf moon spawn like this. They're usually very cratered. Can you go inside of a gas giant? You can actually. Let's go inside this big one. This is very big. And then you get even closer and then there's kind of like this core thing that I don't really know what it is. It won't let me get any closer. I can't, I can't move anymore. So that's what the inside of a gas giant looks like. Pretty cool. So you can see we didn't even go that far. That's the Milky Way right there. On that shore, every time someone viewed it, we would go a whole light year and it got, what's that? 200,000 views plus all the likes and comments. And we're still not even that far from the Milky Way. That's how big space is. That's kind of crazy. I should have made it so we went further. I wanted to go like pretty far. Try to find a moon with rings. That's gonna be hard. I don't know if there's a way to search for that. Moon only, here we go. Rings, search. Whoa, okay. These all are moons with rings? Well, that kind of looks like a ring. <laughs> it's got like, whoa, that kind of looks weird. It's, okay, that's kind of cool. The moon is inside of this planet's ring. You find a planet orbiting a black hole? We can do that. Yeah, that should be pretty easy, actually. We just search for a black hole. Here, I set this to like 100. We don't want to search too much. And then set this to system's main star as a black hole. And okay. Here is a black hole system that has no star, only a black hole in the center. So here's that black hole that's in the center. And then all these planets are going to be in complete darkness. But look, this one has like Northern Lights, Aurora Borealis on it. So it's not completely dark. That's kind of cool. So if you're on this planet, you know, you can see that still, even though there's zero light coming from the star because there is no star. This one has it too. And it's kind of pink. Interesting. Whoa. Okay. These are actually sick. Okay. This one's got rings. Oh, wow. Okay. More pink stuff. Check that out. This is like realistic lighting too. So if you were actually, I mean, you wouldn't be able to, but if you were standing on this gas giant, this is what it would actually look like to be here. I mean, this is technically a randomly generated planet, but planets like this definitely exist in the universe because it is so big. You can find pretty much anything in the universe. So this is what a black hole system might look like in real life. Pretty cool to see that all of these planets exist here and there's no light at all. You get more light from other stars than you do your home star, which is actually a black hole. All right, so there is, so this is all a real galaxy. This is a uh, Leo one. Do they have real pictures of it? I kind of want to see. Here's a real picture of the galaxy we're in right now. So this is real. All right, so that is um, our galaxy that we had to go to. Thank you for everyone who liked on that short. Um, goodbye, everyone. <laughs> all right, see you guys.